Grade 11 IT Theory, Module 1.1C, Hardware. This slideshow is about storage, which is permanent storage, which is sometimes called secondary memory, and um, it's the place where you store your programs and your data in your computer. Storage is made up of three main types. Um, all three technologies, different technologies that are used. It is the magnetic, optical, and solid state types. We'll talk about each of these in more detail. Magnetic hard drives look like this on the inside. There is a disk, or there can be many disks, and they have um, the data written onto them and read from them with this read-write head that moves up and down on the disk as the disk rotates. On the disk there is a magnetic material which um, the read-write head writes on, onto it, makes the little magnets point one way to write a one and it points the other way to write a zero. So all these little magnets make up the surface of the hard drive. <coughs> so there's a magnetic substance on the surface of the hard drive. The data is stored on both sides of each disk. They are read-write heads which sit at a sixth of a hair thickness off of the surface of the hard disk. So you can tell why a little bump will easily... Um, damage a hard disk, if, if you bump your computer or if you drop your computer. Um, also, that is the reason why that disk is so solidly sealed inside that metal box. If you've ever looked at the hard drive, you can't see inside. Um, it's totally sealed so that no dust or air can get in there and disturb the heads. The platters spin very fast at 5,400 to 10,000 rotations per minute and um, the hard drive can easily malfunction. Um, if you've ever had a hard drive failure you know that something can cause it to malfunction. The hard drive is your magnetic hard drive is your most common and cheapest form of storage being a relatively older technology. There are two sizes 3.5 inch which goes into a desktop and a 2.5 inch which goes into a laptop. Optical drives are the next. These allow computers to read CDs and DVDs. Um, they store quite a large amount of, of data and they are totally portable which is convenient. Um, problem is that they are quite slow to use. If you've ever written date, um, files onto a CD or DVD, you know that it takes quite a long time. They are tedious to use and they're often unreliable. They are also declining in use. In the picture at the bottom, you can see the little pits and lands that are written on the surface of the disk. This is a cross section of the disk. And um, you can see how ones and zeros get written on the surface of the disk. Also, here it shows that the surface is written to above and below. And it's written to with a laser. That is why it's called an optical drive. Flash drives are the third form. It's actually a modified form of EEPROM. Do you remember EEPROM was electrically erasable? programmable read-only memory. So you do need a form of memory that won't lose its data when the power goes off, otherwise they would be no good. They, um, the technology used for flash drives is electronic and because it's electronic they are much faster than magnetic hard drives. No um, read-write head needs to move up and down to find the place where you're reading or writing to it can happen instantaneously because it's be electronic. Flash drives are also very easy to use, which is a big advantage. Solid state drives are just really a big, um, a bigger version 
of a normal little flash drive. It's the big brother of the flash drive. It uses the same technology as a flash drive. So if you open one up, you'll see all these um, little chips, which are actually NAND flash memory. And you'll see a green printed circuit board and a controller. Well, you can't tell, really tell the difference between the chips. And then um, there'll be a connector on the side, which is your SATA interface. Solid state drives are still very expensive for the amount of memory that you get or the amount of space you get to write to. They have much smaller capacity than, um, than normal magnetic hard drives. That is why they are not used so much. What is being done quite a lot these days is um, a hybrid drive. So you might buy a one gigabyte hard drive, which will be magnetic, but there'll be a small portion on the side where they've added maybe 20 gigs or 10 gigs of um, a, a flash drive so that you can put all the more important programs on there, like your operating system, and that really speeds up your computer. So storage memory characteristics are it's non-volatile or permanent. It's relatively slow, relatively cheap. Most um, storage is mechanical, which is magnetic or optical. And other storage types are the flash drive, which uses EEPROM, is electronic, and for example, flash memory and SSD. And the two interfaces we use are IDE and SATA. The types of storage, hard disk, it's made of plates covered in magnetic powder. You get your rotations per minute. It's magnetic. There are two physical sizes, 3.5 and 2.5 inch. Optical disks, we have CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray. And then flash disks. Um, are the little brother of the solid state disk, which is also called an SSD. They are expensive, but they are much faster than the magnetic hard drive. Um, now, portable hard drives connect to Firewire, USB, Thunderbolt, or eSATA.